um, you know, that's why I believe, you know, that he, as he grew older, you know, he wanted to hang out with kids because he didn't have that childhood that most of us were fortunate to have, you know, um, running around with kids, having a little innocence, you know, like not having responsibilities. I mean, this fucking, this fucking phenomenon known as Michael Jackson was fucking working since he was, I don't know, six, six years old. You know, he, he, he became a man before most motherfuckers became teens, became men, you know, he was a man touring the world, uh, Rocking the Apollo, going going worldwide, you know, selling platinum fucking albums. How many motherfuckers could say that? And he became a man, you know. He had all this responsibility, on top of the beatings, on top of all the mental abuse and all that shit. And then when he got older, you know, it caught up. Like he wanted to, he wanted to have fun. He never had that, you know. He wanted to experience that. Do I blame him? No. Like what the fuck, you know what I mean? He was rich and he could do it. I mean, I'll admit, it didn't look right for a 40-year-old man to be hanging out around with kids or whatever, or 40 or 35 or how, however old he was at the time when that bullshit came out. But you know what? I don't, I'm a, I don't believe that it happened. I just don't, you know? Um, people just refuse to put the pu pieces of puzzles together. They don't want to use common sense. They just want to nail a celebrity to the cross, you know? Um, but I don't believe that shit happened. He was acquitted. I mean, whatever. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, Joe Jackson. How, what else could I say about you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this put a smile on my face. Uh, supposedly, Joe Jackson isn't in the will. Joe Jackson, are you that fucking surprised that you're not in the fucking will? I mean, come on. You what? What do you expect? I'll tell you one thing, though. I will be pissed if 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 there is a revised will somewhere, and um, you you do get one red cent or or a piece of dirt off of one of the estates. I'll be pissed if if that even happens. You don't deserve shit. I'm sorry. You just don't. You you're you're a waste of life, personally. And it's funny, yeah, uh, uh, why is it that, the, I think this is from uh, the original Punisher movie with Dolph Lundgren, uh, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but the quote is somewhere, somewhere along these lines, why is it that the, that the good die and the bad go on to live unpunished? There you go, this is a perfect example. Michael Jackson changes the music in industry puts out timeless music, music that everyone could feel, and he dies. And the asshole that traumatized him beat his siblings, you know, every day. He's still living. And, and um, uh, well, what else? Um, him, what else about Joe Jackson? Your record company. Please, this, this, is, this is what pisses me off. Like, your, your son dies, and now you're trying to capitalize by putting out a fucking record company, dude. Like, any asshole that signs to that shit, I, for real, like, you, you, you just do not deserve to s sell one album. I don't care how fucking good you are, because if you do that, that just proves that you're selling yourself. You're, you're a fucking whore. Do not sign to this guy's label. Do not sign to this fucking guy's label. I don't care how much he offers you. The dude is a fucking prick. Do not sign to his label. Um, where do I go from here? Um, who else was he with? Uh, Sharpton. I don't even want to get started on Al Sharpton because I could be here all night. Um, one thing I will say is that, to me, it was like Jesse Jackson being at the Obama inauguration. That's how much it pissed me off. But I'm just going to leave it at that because I'm sure... Something else is going to happen that's going to make me rant about Al Sharpton. So I'm going to leave that alone. Um, media. <sighs> um, let's start with uh, let's start with Sean Hannity, for one. Um, Sean Hannity, he's a fucking hypocrite. Um, 
he had Flo, I forget her, her last name, I'm sorry guys, he had Flo uh, something, I forget her last name, she's a friend of Michael Jackson, and this is the day after he, um, he died, and um, <clears throat> you know, he was basically asking, oh, what about this bizarre behavior, you have to admit, blah, 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 bizarre behavior, this, that, and the uh, third, right? Now, um, let me prove how he's a hypocrite. Um, I forget, I, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, but whatever. This guy, um, uh, Jerry Falwell, a fucking prick, reverend prick, um, he died. And, um, excuse me. Sean Hannity had on this guy, uh, Christopher Hitchens, who's an author or whatever. And he, he um, knew Christopher Hitchens' opinion of Jerry Falwell wasn't all that good. And um, basically, he tried to have Hitchens on the show to, to have him change his opinion because Christopher Hitchens basically said, he goes, nah, I, I don't feel bad that he died. The the guy wished death on other people. He said that we des that, that that people deserved uh, the 9-11 attacks and, and such and such and, and people that didn't, basically people that didn't live like how this guy did deserved all this bad shit in their lives and stuff. And... Much respect to Christopher Hitchens for sticking to his guns, because I agree with him, you know, like, why would I feel bad, you know, good riddance, he's gone, you know, we don't need people like this on, on the planet, um, and, 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 uh, Sean Hannity was sitting there saying, what about some decency for his family, and this and that, and Chris Hitchens stuck to his guns, but let me not get too off topic, but this is my point, see, He's going on here asking about bizarre behavior and this and that and the third. Meanwhile, what about respect to, to, to Tito, to Jermaine, to Latoya, to Janet? Like, where's that? Where's that respect? You know, so, sir, Sean Hannity, you're a fucking hypocrite. So says the misanthropic one. So, chew on this, motherfucker. Um...